All right, we're on our way to do some touring in downtown Raleigh. Saw this old school Krispy Kreme donut sign. You know what that means? You gotta have one. You know that Krispy Kreme is from North Carolina, right? Travel across America with me. Did someone say donuts? It's Krispy Kreme, the best donuts, at least um, in most people's opinion, right? And why would anyone try to copy on perfection? I've heard of people trying to copy Krispy Kreme donuts. Is that even possible? But why? We were on a tour of Raleigh, North Carolina, and we saw this Krispy Kreme and the old school sign. It is located at the corner on North Person Street and East P Street in downtown Raleigh. Once we walked in, we saw that this was actually one of their plants where they made these scrumptious donuts. The process is incredible to watch. And they're famous for their sign being lit up saying, hot now. The sign didn't say hot now, but they were hot now for sure. Vernon Rudolph moved to North Carolina and opened a donut shop in Winston-Salem on July 13th in 1937. He rented a building on South Main Street in what is now called Old Salem, one of the state's top 10 attractions. He started by selling the donuts solely to grocery stores. And you can buy Krispy Kremes at grocery stores. However, the irresistible aroma emanating from his facility led to direct sales of the scrumptious donuts to the general public. Over the decades, his business expanded throughout the South. Mr. Rudolph died in 1973. The headquarters for Krispy Kreme, an American icon, remained in Winston-Salem, and stores are now located worldwide. There have been several transitions of ownership of this company, but it is now back into private ownership. If you don't understand what it means hot now, you need to drive to the closest Krispy Kreme location and find out what hot now means. Have you subscribed yet? If not, please subscribe. And if you have, thank you. What's your favorite donut? Tell us in the comments below. When we were in there, we picked up a latte and what donut do you think we picked? And before I tell you what we picked, is it donut or donut? Did you know there were two spellings? Well, we checked the dictionary. Many people around the world agree that donuts, those small sweetened or unsweetened pieces of dough fried in deep fat, are delicious. What is less agreed on, at least in the United States, is the spelling. Is it donut or donut? Technically, it can be both. Dictionaries and popular style guides like the AP Style book list donut as the preferred spelling. However, donut is a common variation in the United States. It's less common in official settings, but it's still fully acceptable. And we certainly want to be acceptable when we're talking about donuts. You don't have to look too far to see examples of the latter, in part thanks to the popular brand like Dunkin' Donuts that have helped popularize the simplified donut spelling. And I know that people in the Northeast can't live without their Dunkin' Donuts. They say it's actually the coffee that they're after. And those of us who are Texans, we love our Shipley's Donuts. But as far as across the country, Krispy Kreme is tops. In doing some research, I found out that there is a National Donut Day. What day is National Donut Day? Tell me in the comments below. Krispy Kreme, hot now, fun, fresh, and warm. Look at those things. You know, if no one was looking, I think you could down a whole dozen of these just right away. They're just, they just melt in your mouth. Don't forget to subscribe. It was so awesome being there and watching how these things are cooked. Don't forget to give me a like, give me a thumbs up. And are we still wondering what donut I chose? And yes, I did pick up a hat. The sign says to get a hat. Well, judging from the cap, it looks like Krispy Kreme spells it the D-O-U-G-H-N-U-T-S. Which one did I pick? The Star Spangled Sweetness for the 4th of July. Isn't this cute? I thought it was really pretty, that's why I picked it. Normally, I wouldn't have picked one of these, but in keeping with the celebration, I chose one of these. Happy 4th of July, everyone. Now, the big question is, did I get a hot now also? You know, one of the regular glazed, one of these beauties? Uh, what do you think? Absolutely, I did. How do you go to Krispy Kreme and not get an original glazed? It's like, not American. Hot now, and I gotta tell you, the guy made a great iced latte. And while we were in Raleigh, we saw all kinds of great sights, and I'll be showing you all those great stops coming soon on the Unclassic Road Trip, like the Mordecai Historic Park, the Capital City Trail, 
the capital of North Carolina and other sites in this lovely city. Flip-flops on the ground and classic road trip.